and uh, it is about uh, Graham, Graham stains. <clears throat> Martyrdom. He and his two sons, 25 years before. January 22nd, 99. Am I right? Yes. So, 25 years is going to complete tomorrow. <clears throat> I just uh, reminded you that that's all. Today we are going to see a few things from the Bible. What all Jesus said after his resurrection. Yeshu Masi, Apna Punarutan Ke Baad, Logon Ko Kya Bataya, Apna Shishon Ko Kya Bataya. Iske Baare Mein Haan, Thoda Kuchu, Dekhen Ke. What did Jesus say to people and especially to his disciples after his resurrection? Okay, so that I can manage. If I don't remember what I am going to preach, how you are going to remember? So I generally don't uh, write too much and uh, preach. So here also, we are going to see some eight things what Jesus said after his uh, preaching, after his resurrection. Matthew's Gospel, Chapter 28. The first thing. Verse 10, then said Jesus unto them, be not afraid, go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee and there shall they see me. Be not afraid. This is the first thing Jesus said. Of course, he wished them and uh, and then he said, be not afraid. Why did he say like that? These women who came in the morning, <coughs> contrary to their expectation, things happened. And uh, they are going back. Verse 8, departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy. Then Jesus meets them. Then he, the first thing what he said is, be not afraid. And they were uh, joyful and also they had fear. Ungo bhaevi tha or anandi tha. Atva kalam mayam parte. बड़े आनंद के साथ, भय के साथ, कबर से शीघ्र लौटकर। Fear is a very common experience, phenomena. We all have our own fears. I grew up in a place where there are lot of cemeteries. Three cemeteries were very near to our place. So when we go somewhere and return, we had to cross the cemeteries. When we come near the cemetery, because it's a deserted place, 
nobody is nearby we can hear lot of sound and sometimes we hear you know some sound is being thrown all this sound can so people heard a lot of you know frightening stories about that ये कब्रिस्तान दो तीन कब्रिस्तान के नस्तिक था हमारा घर घर में वापस आना है तो ये कब्रिस्तान क्रॉस करके आने का बचपन से ऐसा हमको सुनाया लोगों ने रात के समय उधर मत जाना उधर बहुत आवाज होता है कोई रेती बेचता है फेंकता है ओके ऐसा सब इसलिए मेरे अंदर भी थोड़ा डर था छोटे उम्र से and the dong and the, uh, you know make your children to hear uh, old folk stories okay uh, anyway in my case it is different so when i was 15 16 i bought a three battery torch to find out you know who are all there <laughs> in the night in the cemetery you know i then those days you know the torch was uh, you know इस रेंज वास वेरी गुड ओके चलिए मैं वो टॉर्च लेके गया उधर क्या है देखने के लिए अब विश्वास करेंगे बहुत चूहा था शाम था और कुछ कुत्ता ये भी था इस कारण से बहुत आवाज हो रहा था जो कुछ उधर हो रहा था ये कुत्ता का एक स्वभाव है पीछे का पैर से है मट्टी में फेंकने का एक आदत है वो देख लिया मिट्टी का ऐसा ही होता है फिर चूहा भी ऐसा ही है वो भी ऐसा करते हैं ओके फिर कुछ बिल्ली आता होगा उधर चूहा को पकड़ने के लिए उसके पीछे दौड़ता होगा इसलिए आवाज होता है शाम भी है और इसके बदले में लोग हमको क्या सिखाया उधर बूंद है रात के समय सब निकलते हैं सब और आशीष प्रॉब्ली नाइट आल्सो ही विल सीक सेल्फ टू गो टू द बाथरूम ही वाज अफ्रेड टू गो टू द बाथरूम बट माय ग्रैंड डॉटर अवसरा डेनिस डॉटर व्हेन शी केम टू केरला You can see lot of you know insects there, and with her own you know feet, leg, she will crush them. And uh, she is not afraid of anything. Okay, uh, so she doesn't seek anybody's assistance who go to the bathroom, and she knows that the bathroom is very safe place. In olden times, it was outside the house. Okay, it's very far away. When we grew up, you know, we grew up after some time when we made the bathroom toilet at all. It was half a kilometer away, <laughs> not half a kilometer. But we had to walk a long distance. There can be many things in that bathroom. Okay, so people, you know, carry those things even today. Okay, even staying in a flat like this, you know, seventh floor. even we seldom see cockroach or lizard here okay and uh, we are free from uh, unlike we stayed in the ground floor we had all these insects you know they will come inside okay, all kinds of creatures so i am i was trying to tell you what is fear logon ke andar dar dar jisse darna hai wo darta nahi hai jisse nahi darne ka hai darta hai okay i will show you a verse from psalm 56 56 psalm 56 verse 3 bhajan sangeeta chapan hat okay jis samay mujhe dar lagega main tujh par bharosa rakhunga okay dar hota hai to kya karna when i am afraid i will trust in you okay you have to underline that verse then come down to verse 11 okay maine parmeshwar par bharosa rakha hai main na darunga manush ah bas bas okay 
what is the comparison between these two verses? Nothing. Present, Any difference? Present tense and future tense. Any difference? What is it? I think it's जब मैं डरता हूं तुम पर भरोसा रखो जब भय आएगा तुम पर भरोसा रखो वेन आई एम अफ्राइड आई ट्रस्ट इट बट वर्स इलेवन इज ए डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस ऑल टूगेदर आई विल नॉट बी अफ्राइड I trust in you because of that. I will not be afraid. So we have to come to that second stage. Okay, second stage. First one is good. When I'm, um, we are afraid, we can trust in God. Why? What is it? Ishur ke pas ja ke unbar hamara asar hai raksa. Ishur mere saath. Aur usse baat upar ka ek anpo hai. I trust in you, and because of that, I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. On January first, I send you some verses. Anybody remembers? Okay, good. Joshua chapter one. Three times the Lord told Joshua, "You should not fear, or you should be of good courage." Verse six, seven, and nine. Be strong and of good courage. Verse six. Then verse seven. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Then verse nine again. Away come. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Why did God say this three times? <coughs> eh? <coughs> you know, one day I came to the railway station. Then the police wanted to examine my bag. They opened up everything, and they did not get anything. and finally i was holding a plastic bag so then my body was shaking because i was holding that bag you know it was like this and uh, then again this follows a uh, reexam in the bag fir main pucha abhi main ja sakta hu kya ab aur ek baar karne wala hai kya usko todenge kya aisa kuch तो वो पुलिस क्या पूछा मालूम क्यों आपका हाथ कामता है वाई यूर हैंड इज शेकिंग दट बॉडी लैंग्वेज ही थॉट समथिंग इज हिडन समेर आई एम कॉट दैट्स वाई माई हैंड इज शेकिंग ओके इवन दैट विल अवर समटाइम्स द बॉडी ऑल्सो ओके सो पीपल कैन फाइंड आउट पीस Uh, a person who is guilty by to a certain extent by his body language facial expression or you know like that uh then i told the policeman ye to kuch aisa dard ke karan nahi hai ye ek bimari hai aapke paas kuch ilaaj hai to de do <laughs> sometimes i talk to police people also the wrong way may not be good sometimes anyhow God understood by looking at Joshua that he is afraid. Ishur jab Joshua ko dekha, aur Ishur ko unka harday bhi dekh sakta hai. Isme bahut dar hai, dar. Dar ka karan main hum us din bataya tha. Three baatein hain: absence of Moses and size of his responsibility. then the people's nature three things bhai ka karan hai abhi unka leader musa nahi hai and uh, the size of his responsibility job 
बहुत बड़ा जिम्मेदारी है और ये लोग जो उनके साथ हैं उनको मूसा योशुआ अच्छी तरह जानते हैं इन लोग हाउ दे बिहेव विथ मोसस ऑल दिस फोर्टी इयर्स योशुआ वॉज सीइंग एंड दिस सेम पीपल ही हैज टू टेक दे विल नॉट कोऑपरेट इजली दे रिबेल दे कंप्लेन दे मरमर दे डू ऑल दिस so that was the reason then the third thing what i send you is three facts or three solutions god gave him to get out of this fear okay this is another message some day i will preach one is god's promise second is god's word third is god's presence okay three things so fear is a very common phenomenon okay and uh, some people are little courageous that doesn't mean all people are courageous but if you are a child of god when i am afraid i will trust in you we have a god to trust there are many things which can frighten us but we can trust in the lord then comes the second level there because i trust in the lord i will not be afraid i will not be afraid. so i have shown this to uh, some believers and told them you should get promoted to the second stage from verse 3 to psalm 56 verse 3 to verse 11 okay then it will bring law of change so jesus said to his uh, these women the first thing what jesus said don't be afraid now it's amazing to notice in the bible 365 times fear not is there in the bible that means 365 fear not in the bible har din ke liye ishwar ek daro mat बोल के दिया है सिक्स थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव वी आर नॉट इन द बाइबल बिकॉज गॉड नोस दैट देर आर मेनी थिंग्स विच कैन ब्रिंग फियर हमारे अंदर डर ला सकते हुए बहुत बातें दुनिया में और ईश्वर हमसे बार बार करना चाहते हर दिन बोलना चाहते अरे हर एक दिन के लिए एक नया फियर नॉट डरो मत डरो मत डरो मत ईश्वर बार बार हमसे कहना चाहते लेट गॉड वॉन्ट्स इज पीपल टू बी बोल्ड एंड करेजियस तो गॉड लुक्स एट जोशो एक्सरसाइज आई कमांड यू दैट यू शुड नॉट बी फेयरफुल यू शुड बी करेजियस यू शुड नॉट बी अफ्रेड तो गॉड वॉन्ट्स ऑल ऑफ अस टू डू दैट दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस minor things can uh, you know bring fear to people uh, you know to us also okay we are not exceptional when this uh, riot happened here when christian boy was coming from his office in naroda and shai bag he was stopped there are lot of people who were standing with sword and uh, they stopped him he was on his bike they live very near to this place they are uh, a far distant uh, relative of us so this boy was everyone was asked uh, everyone who was crossing that way said showed the big you know sword and asked them say mata ki ji eh mata ji ka ji bol so this boy was terribly shaken up what to do and uh, there were some muslim boys they refused to say they were then and they are killed okay. but this boy he told me he thought for a while and he said mata ji ki jai is it that is i also have a mata ji mai mata ji ke liye jai 
He didn't say that particular Maharaji. So I escaped from there. So what I said, he was telling me, he was terribly afraid. Okay. There are many things which can frighten us. It is not easy. When Jesus was sending his disciples, he said, I am sending you as sheep among the wolves. I am sending you as sheep among sheep. Sheep, then there was no problem. Okay. And sheep and wool cannot get together. And uh, one is the predator and the other is the prey. It can be, get destroyed very soon. It will get frightened. But brothers and sisters, let us take courage. Jesus is with us. He can uh, remove all the fears, whatever it is. So, this was... Uh, Psalm 56, verse 3 and verse 11. The first thing that we can do, if we are in the ordinary level, when there is fear, trust in the Lord. Then the second level, if we are a little more grown-up believer, trust in the Lord, and I will not fear. I will not fear. That's the first thing what I wanted to tell you. Second, Jesus said, Peace be unto you. That is in John's Gospel 20, verse 90. This is the second thing. 20, verse 90. John, Yohanna, Biska, Unis. Ushi Din, Jo Saptaha Ka Pahla Hoon Tha, Sandhya Ke Samay, Jab Vaha Ke Dwar, Jaha Chene Thay, Yehudiyo Ke Dhar Ke Maare Ban Thay, Sad Yeshu Aya, Aur Unke Beech Me Khada Ho Kar, Unse Kaha, Okay. When the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled, the fear of the Jews came, Jesus stood in their midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. What did he say like this? Eh? They were disturbed. They were tense. They were afraid. And the most important thing what they needed in that situation was peace. Jesus came there and said, peace be unto you. So there are four uh, important truths about peace. What we read in Romans 5 verse 1, we have peace with God. Ishwar ke saath ambo. Shanti. If your sins are forgiven, Apka Papka Shama Ogyato, Ishur Ke Sat, Romans 5 1. We are not going to read that verse again. Ephesians 2 14. Peace with people. Logonge Sat Shanti. Logonge Sat Shanti. Kudarka Yakudi Aur Anya Jadi Kelo. How they can come together because of Jesus. There is peace. Long enmity was there. Okay. Long enmity was there. There is peace. Thirdly, Philippians 4 7. The peace of God which passeth, Philippianga Patri, Charka, Sat. The peace which passeth, all understanding. Who will get this? Peace which passeth all understanding. Uh, Indi kya hai? Shandi jo samach se bar. Samach se bar. Peace which passeth all understanding. Who will get this? It is for whom? It is for whom? Eh? You read verse 6. You don't do that, you will not get the peace. 
जटवा कलम पढ़ के देखो किसी भी बात की चिंता मत करो परंतु हर एक बात में तुम्हारे निवेदन प्रार्थना और विनती के द्वारा धन्यवाद के साथ परमेश्वर के सम्मुख उपस्थित किए जाए ओके और उसका परिणाम है तब परमेश्वर की शांति जो सारी समझ से परे है तुम्हारे हृदय और तुम्हारे विचारों को मसीह यीशु में सुरक्षित यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस दिस पीस ऑफ गॉड टू थिंग्स यू हैव टू डू वट आर दू थिंग्स स्टॉप वरिंग स्टार्ट प्राइंग सिक्स टू थिंग्स आर देर स्टॉप वरिंग स्टार्ट प्राइंग फिलिपियंस फॉर सिक्स If you do that, okay, you will experience this peace of God, which passes all understanding. But what is the problem with people? What is the problem with people? One side they are praying, and another side they are worrying. There it says, stop worrying and start praying. चिंता करना छोड़ के प्रार्थना करना शुरू करना दोनों साथ में नहीं चलता है ओके क्या करेंगे क्या करेंगे बड़े प्रार्थना कर रहा है बड़े क्या करेंगे इट इज नॉट लेट गॉड हैज कमांडेड दैट बी एंशियस फॉर नथिंग नो वेन आई अंडरस्टूड दिस वर्स लॉन्ग बैक दैट डे आई रियलाइज दैट दिस इज अ कमांड ऑफ द लॉ be anxious for nothing that means you you have no right to worry about even one thing one thing but in other thing prayer pray about anything in the whole life anything in life pray so stop worrying and start praying then if you do that what will happen the peace of god which passes the whole understand Now we should experience the peace of God. How do we know a person has that peace of God? How do we know? कैसा हमको मालूम है उसको प्रभु का ये शांति है? He is very free. You look at him. You know, I have a I had a leader in OIM, OIM's director. Uh, I forgot his name. I'll tell you, <laughs> Alfie Franks. So Alfie Franks, who was the All India Director of Operation Mobilisation, thirty teams, three hundred volunteers, people from various parts of the world working together. Thirty vehicles are on move. So different uh, age group people working in different places. Lot of problems. How to meet their needs? We have to live by faith, and uh, I learned how to live by faith in Oyam. They taught me, and we have to pray for our next meal. Probably in the morning we have no money for the breakfast, and we learn to look to the Lord for our everyday need. That was the experience. but uh, morning in our uh, family prayer in bombay office a lot of letters will be there from the teams i'll be frank you will read all this letter there is no body uh, in a uh, expression bodily expression by which you can see this man is tense he is not and uh, finally he will make the prayer lord you have seen all this problem All these problems, we do not know what to do, but you have solution. You know what to do with this problem. This man will pray like this. So he comes to the office absolutely without any worry or tension. By his body language, we can understand he is free from worries. That is the lifestyle we should make. There may be problems, difficulties. and we do not know what's going to happen next moment trusting in the lord trusting in the lord trusting in his promises ishwar ka vaada hai le lene ka prabhu hai prabhu unka vaada pura karenge prabhu jeevit hai so god wants us to have uh, this peace uh, 
one more verse i want to show you about peace we have to keep the peace which is already there among the people of god that is again in ephesians keep the peace of god unity of the spirit nobody knows people use different versions and <coughs> eh what is it read the unity of the bond of peace ah yeah. uh, philippians uh, ephesians 4:3 mail ke bandhan mein aatma ki ekta rakhne ka yatn karo okay aatma ka ekta rakhne ke liye mail mail okay uh we don't have to create peace already the peace is there we should uh, keep that peace that means we should not do anything that can disturb the peace okay uh we should uh, see that peace is not disturbed among the people of god so this word verses about peace is very important okay now john 20 with me I have a plan to send you out as my father has sent me I am sending you out as Jesus came to represent God reveal God and uh, give the word of God we are was believers in the world ishwar ko represent karne ke liye unko prakat karne ke liye unka vajan logon ko dene ke liye hame duniya mein apna shishyon ko duniya mein bheja as my father has sent me i send you now come down to verse 23 there is a problem i don't know whether it is a problem for you or not let us see जिनके पाप तुम क्षमा करो वे उनके लिए क्षमा किए गए हैं जिनके तुम रखो वे रखे गए हैं सिंस यू रेमिट दे आर रेमिटेड और फॉर गिवन सिंस यू रिटेन दे आर रिटेन तो क्या तो लिख पीपल टेक दिस वर्स एंड से यू कम एंड कन्वर्स यूर सिंस बिफोर मी प्रिस्ट इज कॉलिंग एंड i have the right to forgive your sins is it the meaning of this verse mm-hmm. what is the meaning mm-hmm. now i want your uh, knowledge what do you think about this verse because this is a problematic verse the verse is very clear who are sins you remit you forgive it is being forgiven and who are sins you retain they are retained what is the meaning of it those who are here for a long time i have explained this verse here many long by yesterday when i saw i also forgot this verse okay then some connected verses also i will show you that after verse what what does it mean when we share the gospel there will be two reactions what are the reaction receive or reject okay a person receives the word of god who receives the salvation the person who shared the gospel with him has every right to tell him and he ought to tell him that on the basis of your confession and receiving christ your sins are forgiven 
and he reject this i don't want this we have to tell him no problem your sin sin will remain abhi hindi mein bolna padega idhar hai na har ek swartha dene wala स्वार्थता देने के बाद लोगों के तरफ से हमको दो प्रतिक्रिया मिलता है एक है लोग स्वीकार करेंगे दूसरा है लोग इनकार करेंगे तो स्वीकार करते हैं उनको हमको बोलने का हक है जिम्मेदारी है ऑन द वे तुम्हारा कबूलात के आधार पर तुम प्रभु को स्वीकार करने के कारण तुम्हारा पाप क्षमा हो गया उनको पाप क्षमा करने का अधिकार है ये अधिकार ये अधिकार अभी एक व्यक्ति स्वीकार करने के लिए तैयार नहीं है इनकार करता है हम उनको बोलते हैं हमारे लिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तुम्हारा पाप ये घर में जाके भी थोड़ा सोचना है आपको कुछ दूसरा अर्थ मिलता है तो मुझको देना मैं तो मैं तुझे स्वर्ग के राज्य की कुंजिया दूंगा और जो कुछ तू पृथ्वी पर बांधेगा वह स्वर्ग में बंधेगा और जो कुछ तू पृथ्वी पर खोलेगा वह स्वर्ग में खुलेगा ओके अठारह का अठारह नाइनटीन एंड एटीन एटीन मैं तुमसे सच कहता हूँ जो कुछ तुम पृथ्वी पर बांधोगे वह स्वर्ग में बंधेगा और जो कुछ तुम पृथ्वी पर खोलोगे वह स्वर्ग में खुलेगा ये दोनों एक ही है दोनों एक ही है यू गेट दैट एंड हियर वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द थिंग्स इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट एक ही बात है बोला है सेम थिंग इज सर whatever you bind on earth will be bound bound in heaven also whatever you lose here it will be loose in heaven okay same thing the, the, but you have to understand the context both are different pehla hai 16 ka 19 mein jo likha hai patros ko bolta hai i am giving you a special authority you are going to open the way For people to enter into the kingdom of God, okay. kingdom of God, that He did on the day of Pentecost, He opened the door. If you don't open, if it is shut, it will be shut in heaven also. So you have to whatever is open by you, you have the right. You have to go to people and open the kingdom of God to them. so that people can enter into the kingdom of ye patros ko diya hua ek vishesh adhikar hai pandakos ke din mein cornelius ke ghar mein sab patros se chavi use kiye okay aur logon ke liye swarg raj ka dwar khola darwaza khola ye adhikar patros ko hi diya hai dusra kisi ko nahi theek hai abhi dusra hai 18 ka 18 में लिखा है उधर का कॉन्टेक्स क्या है उधर मंडली में प्रॉब्लम है दो भाई होंगे बीच में प्रॉब्लम हो गया उसको कैसा सुधारने का है उसका ऑर्डर भी इंपॉर्टेंट है उसका ऑर्डर क्या है उसका ऑर्डर क्या है थोड़ा ऊपर देख लो फर्स्ट यू गो टू हिम वेन यू इज अलोन and he is not prepared to solve the problem you take one or two people with you that also he rejects then the third step what is the third step church. you inform the church and he is refusing to listen to the church let him be like a like a tax collector okay tax collector okay and then jesus says whatever you bind on the earth will be bound whatever you loose on the earth will be loosed you don't solve the problem here what will happen it will go with you to heaven 
you will reach heaven there every problem will be solved but in the front of that big company god will call people okay you two people had some problem without solving that problem here you are come here come on what is the problem solve it here you know they such people refuse the church they don't mind changing the church some people are saying creating big problem here and going to another church what is the use he will create problem there when i was uh, talking to a man here and uh, <clears throat> he said jacobite he said uh, because of the church politics <laughs> he decided to leave that church and go to the marthoma church thinking from a distance that that church is better okay so finally before he left the church he went to the priest listen carefully this is a one man story he has a running a shop in rana park he told me this then the uh, jacobai priest said because of the problem if you are going from this church to the marthoma church and uh, don't think that there are problems because those people have gone from here we have already trained them and said we have already trained them how to fight church politics how to play church politics kerala now there are many catholic churches closed many orthodox uh, jacobite churches are closed what or is the reason that is another so what is uh, then the priest said jacobite priest said you may go tomorrow to another church pandakosers don't think that there is no fight there also they fight because we have to originally they were all here we train them how to do church fighting okay so what what i wanted to say here uh, there are people who create problems and they go to another church they are create problem they go to another church <coughs> and uh, spurgeon said like this one person came and uh, told spurgeon and uh, uh i am looking for a church where there is no problem okay he told him sparjan so sparjan replied even if you find a church like that you don't join so that there may not be problem because of you tomorrow there isliye bahut jagah mein aisa kuch problem hote rehte but vishwasiyon ke beech mein aatmik logon ke beech mein usko निवारण करने का सोल्यूशन करने का एक तरीका है देर इज ए वे टू सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम बेटर टू बींग गॉड्स चिल्ड्रेन वी कैन नॉट हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट वन टू वन वन टू वन इफ दैट पर्सन रिव्यूज देन टेक टू पीपल देन दैट इज ऑल्सो रिव्यूज इन फॉर्म द चर्च लेट द चर्च स्टॉप दैट ऑल्सो नॉट एक्सेप्टेड then you consider him okay. as a tax collector okay then uh, finally when they go to heaven i tell you this is the verse 1880 whatever you bind on earth will be bound if you don't lose the problem you don't solve the problem it will be bound in heaven if you have any interpretation afterwards you can discuss with me okay whenever it is convenient for you i leave that here. okay jesus says that uh, i am sending you to the world okay big responsibility we will see that after was little detail so i will leave that that is the third thing you have to go you have to be prepared to go i have a plan for you and all these years i have trained you so that uh, you may go as my father has sent me i am sending you okay then uh, 20 was 15 john 20 was 15 विष्णु उनसे कहा हे नारी 
ீப் then 16 what is the best translation you can give in in this version it is not correct requali karna to keep protect my sheep anybody is english translation tend my sheep eh tend my sheep okay tend my sheep so peter is being restored jesus says now you have to go back to the people of god and here is your responsibility what is that feed my lambs feed my sheep then guide them lead them in this life so why church ministry why we preach the word of god we have the responsibility to feed the people of god i just want to ask today or any sunday when you go from here if you are not taking anything from here after sitting here two and a half hours our gathering is not fulfilling its purpose so whenever i share the word of god with so much burden in my heart so that the people of god may hold something they may take something they should get some word of god they should get some promises of god they should get some enlightenment that should be the motto of preaching so jesus says peter i am restoring you back but here you have a big responsibility you have to feed the sheep and feed the lambs why jesus said it uh, separately he could have you know said once feed my sheep why he used the word lambs there will be new believers small children will be there they should also get something okay if you use all the greek and you know hebrew and uh, uh, words which cannot be digested and all this theological words uh then uh, what the children can understand what can the new believers understand isle naye vishwasi hoga bachche hoga unko bhi kuch samajh mein aane ka aur usi samay sheep hai tumhare jaise vishwasi log hai unko bhi kuch khana khilane ka if a shepherd has to feed his sheep what he should have shepherd has to feed his sheep what he should have food for the sheep food for the sheep he should have a lot of land with grass okay he cannot you know just tie it in one place and you know you fast you cannot say like that you have to have a big land of grass you have to take them every every preacher every minister of god's word should have thorough knowledge of the word of god good knowledge of god that's very important i am not saying that i am perfect in any of us are perfect we need to grow we have to have a bigger understanding of things bigger things in our possession bigger knowledge so that we have to impart to god's people so jesus is giving a big responsibility of taking care of the church okay then the fifth thing luke 24:41 luke 24:41 this was you know really you know challenge 
जब आनंद के मारे उनको प्रतीति न हुई ना 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 लूक ट्वेंटी फोर लूक है वेट इन जरूसलेम एंडल यू रिसीव द पावर फ्रॉम अब नॉट दैट फोर्टी नाइन सॉरी मै रईटिंग यू नो नॉट कम प्रॉपरली फोर्टी नाइन बट टैडी इन दिटी ऑफ जरूसलेम एंड यू बी एंड विथ पावर फ्रॉम ओन हाई फ्रीड इन एंडी और देखो जिसकी प्रतिज्ञा मेरे पिता ने की है मैं उसको तुम पर उतारूंगा और जब तक स्वर्ग से सामर्थ्य ना पाओ तब तक तुम इसी नगर में ठहरे रहो ओके बिफोर यू गो फॉर प्रीचिंग बट जीसस इज सेइंग यू टैरी इन द सिटी ऑफ जेरूसलेम एंड यू बी एंड विथ पावर फ्रॉम ऑन हाई तो यू आर गोइंग टू डू दिस वर्क विथ गॉड्स पावर होली स्पिरिट्स पावर and until you receive that you remain in the city in jerusalem why only jerusalem dusra koi jagah mein ye pavitra atma ka intezar kar nahi sakta hai tarrying meeting you hear about tarrying meeting they were told that you have to wait in jerusalem then only you are there after receiving this power then only you have to move out जरूसलेम वॉज द ओनली प्लेस वेर द होली स्पिरिट इज गोइंग टू कम नो अदर प्लेस एंड दैट हैपन ऑल्सो टूडे देर इज नो टैरी इमेजी टू ब्रिंग द होली स्पिरिट दे रेटेड फॉर द होली स्पिरिट होली स्पिरिट कैम एंड होली स्पिरिट इज विद द चर्च टूडे देर इज नो टैरी मीटिंग लाइक दैट but definitely we have to wait in the presence of god to receive in a power every day every day we spend enough time in the presence of god ishwar ke upasthiti mein samay bitana hai prarthana purvak baithna hai taki ishwar ka samarth humko mil jaye so jesus told them you should not leave from jerusalem and you have to wait for the holy spirit then acts we will come almost uh, same verse acts 18 there i just want to show you another important acts 18 parantu jab pavitra atma tum par aayega तब तुम सामर्थ्य पाओगे और यरूशलेम और सारे यहूदिया और सामरिया में और पृथ्वी की छोर तक मेरे गवाह होगे ओके okay. यशु तीन बातें बोला है पवित्र आत्मा तुम्हारे ऊपर आओगे तुम शक्ति पाओगे और तुम मेरा गवाह बनो थ्री थिंग्स the holy spirit will come upon you and you will receive power then you shall be my witnesses so how do we know a person receive the holy spirit eh why i am saying today there are uh, false teachers they will say that unless you speak in tongues you don't have the holy spirit if you are a believer you have the holy spirit of god i'll say it again 36 blessing instantly every child of god receive not one or two blessing you became a child of god a citizen of heaven your name is written in the lamb's book of life you received eternal life forgiveness of sin reconciliation with god holy spirit came to dwell in your life in your heart and you are sealed by the holy spirit anointed by the holy spirit you are baptized by the holy spirit 
like that 36 blessings you instantly receive and uh, this friday bible study i will uh, you know i'll be referring to few of these things uh, time permits we will study more 36 blessings instantly you receive your body became the temple of god the holy spirit came to dwell uh, live in you all these blessings happen. So, Jesus is emphasizing three things here. Holy Spirit will come upon you. You will receive power. What is the problem with these disciples? They are afraid. They have closed their door. They are sitting inside. They are afraid to uh, face the public. यही लोग पंडकोस के दिन पवित्र आत्मा आने के बाद बहुत हिम्मत के साथ इतने भीड़ उधर इकट्ठा हुआ उनके सामने पत्रों से और क्या बाकी शीशे लोग उनके साथ मिलके इतना अच्छा गवा दिया परिणाम 3000 लोग उस दिन उधर पर ओके सो यू शैल बी माय विटनेसेस दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you receive power, you shall be my witness. What is the job of a witness? Suppose you are called uh, to a court for witnessing. Okay. Sachi Dane ke liye bulaya. Kya bolne ka hai? Mein udar nahi ta, musko kuch malum nahi hai. No, that is not witnessing. What you have seen? What you have heard. That is what uh, Peter said to the crowd afterwards, you know, chapter 4. We cannot keep quiet about what we have seen, what we have heard. Chapter 4, Acts eh? 420. Please read. Okay. English. For we cannot but speak the things which you have seen and heard. Okay. They said that we cannot keep quiet. We have to speak what we have seen and what we have heard. All this three and a half years, what we have seen, what we have heard, we cannot remain silent. We have to speak. So, you have to be my witnesses. That is a witness. What you know about it, what you experience. Okay, seventh thing. Matthew 28, 19. You all know this verse very well. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, make them my disciples. Then baptize them and teach them all what I taught you so that they may observe. Okay. O ye therefore, and make them disciples, make them my disciples. If Jesus is, if we are disciples of Jesus, then who is Jesus to us? He is our Guru, our teacher, our master, our Lord. Okay. See, what is gospel work? Bringing a man and Jesus together. You know, that is our job. That's what. If a person really understood Christ and received Christ, then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. But what is the problem? Many people don't understand what is discipleship. People don't understand what, what is the Lordship of Christ. If you really understood you are a disciple, you should go to the, go to the Lord. And seek his mind, seek his will. 
in every area of our life, every area of our life. Making decisions, you ask the Lord, you consulting, whether I can do this or not, whether I can go there or not, whether I can eat this or not, and the number of things you will consult him because he is the master. You are his disciple. The Lord wants to guide you in the detailed needs of your life. One of the illustration between the church and Jesus is he is the head. We have the body. What is its relation? Head is directing the complete body. Okay. Sometimes I said like this. One hand is biting on my feet. How do I come to know? How do I come to know one hand is biting there? The uh, yeah. There, are, uh, communi there is communication. The message is sent to you. Something is wrong here. Go and find out what it is. So the brain will give an order to the eye. Go and find out. Where it is exactly what it is. Okay. Then the eye will go. Then it will report to the brain. One hand is there. It seems that it is going to hold on. Okay. Something is to be done. So probably brain will give an order to the other leg. You just go there and crush that. Okay. So how much time it will take? You know, when I started saying this, few minutes, few seconds it took. But within no time, that uh, hand is crushed. But so much communication is happening in the body. Okay. Unless that communication is proper, the body cannot function properly. Uh, what is the problem of leprosy? What is leprosy? Uh, Senses stopped, stopped working. Not only an ant, even a dog comes and bites away his uh, complete feet, you will not know. Rats will come and take away his uh, toes. He will not know. He will, uh, there is no pain. No indication. So one doctor said, it is good that God has given us pain. We should praise God for pain. We don't like pain. Okay. And... Uh, but you know, God has put pain in our body and that will communicate properly. What I want to say is, Jesus is the head and we are the body. Jesus wants to direct us, guide us, tell us what to do, what not to do, where to go, where not to go, what to eat, what not to eat, everything Jesus will. That relationship should be maintained. You go and make disciples. Then only disciples should be baptized. Then afterwards you should teach them all what I commanded so that they may obey. Okay, last thing. Jesus said, Behold, I am with you always. What a promise it is. Viswakala. Matthew 28, 20. Behold, I am with you always. All the time. Good times, bad times. I'll be with you. Wherever you are, I'll be with you. You are not alone in this world. What a comforting thought it is to know that I am not alone in this world. Brothers and sisters, we need to know whatever is the challenge, whatever is the problem. Be rest assured that I am not alone in this world. My Redeemer, my Savior, <clears throat> according to His promise, He is with me. He is there to help me. He is there to guide me. He is there to take care of me. That is the relationship. That is the relationship. Behold, I am with you always. May the Lord bless this. Shall we pray? Lord, our Father, we thank you for helping us to come together on this Lord's Day morning. <clears throat>